Hello Leo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Leo, this is your reading for the month of August, and this is general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Okay. Also, Leo, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. This reading has an extended reading, and if you are interested in the same, if you are excited to know what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what is the likely conclusion between you and them, also, uh, also if you are trying to seek some advice regarding your life, career, and money, the link is provided in the description box and also in the comments section. Okay. Also, one more announcement: uh, your predictions, uh, the predictions for the next five months, starting from August till the end of uh, December 2021 uh has been uh has been uploaded and uh, uh this is uploaded for all the zodiac signs leo and uh, i have predicted i have analyzed your love life for the next five months i have analyzed your life in general i have analyzed your career your money for the next five months i have also provided some spiritual advice for the next five months the link for the same is also posted in the description box and also posted in the comment section you can go ahead and check that out now, as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, what I'm going to do is I've changed the format a bit. I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your past energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards in the center and they will represent your present energy. Uh, then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here on the right and they will represent your future energy. After that, I'm going to pull out some cards and see what are the challenges uh, in the existing relationship and... Uh, you know, basically to know what are the challenges that you can overcome if you want to reconcile with your past person, right? And then thereafterwards, I will also pull out some oracle cards and see what are the challenges for you to move on, okay? If you want to move on, I will show you what are the challenges for you to move on. That will be a sort of a spiritual advice. At the very far end, uh, I'll pull out some another cards, uh, some more cards from another deck and they will be to know who is a new person entering in your life leo okay so let's get started now leo let's get started right so leo i'm sorry if you're hearing some noise Right, so for the past we have is Queen of Wands, then we have is the Page of Wands and we have is Four of Pentacles. Present we have is Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands and we have is Seven of Cups. Future we have is Justice, Chariot and we have is the Moon. Okay, so Leo, you may be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may be dealing with uh, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, okay. Uh, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is also standing out. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. And 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 you may be seeing a lot of uh, seven seven seven, okay, and two two two. Also, there is some abundance that is about to come your way, Leo. Monetary abundance, okay. Right, so in the past we have a Queen of Wands, we have Page of Wands and we have is Four of Pentacles. So in the past, uh, there is an energy, Leo, where you were finding yourself getting confused. You were holding because of the lack, of, you were holding back because of the lack of clarity. You had a passion towards a certain situ a certain person and certain situation, and there was a lot of wishful thinking that was that was going on. Uh, probably, you, someone showed you some big dreams about future, and they couldn't fulfill those dreams. Okay, uh, maybe it's a situation where this person ghosted you all of a sudden. Maybe it was also such a situation where this person triggered emotions inside you and when you started reciprocating them, all of a sudden they ghosted you, okay? And uh, you were just in that waiting energy when this person will come back and when this person will reciprocate back to you, okay? So there is a, a very long waiting energy. You were waiting for a very long for uh, for a very long time for this person, Leo. And what I see is that Finally, you, you started holding yourself back and you were realizing that like 
you are realizing that you are waiting for this person since a very long time you are trying to remain positive since a very long time okay and you are trying to put this person in a good light since a very long time but whatever you are really thinking about the about this person is that a fact i mean you were thinking very good about this person you had a very good image about this person in your mind but slowly and steadily you started realizing that something is fishy something is not what it seems to be there is there the reality is far different than what i'm thinking all these sort of doubts started creeping inside your mind why because this person ghosted you because this person started throwing bread crumbs at you because this person was inconsistent okay this person made you wait for a very long time and even as of now you are still in that waiting energy you are still waiting for someone to come back to you uh, hoping that some day they will come towards you some day this connection will get reignited some day i'm going to experience a lot of passion with them right so there is this energy of waiting there is this energy of lot of wishful thinking there is this there is this energy of trying to do evaluation there is this energy trying to see that whatever am i am i thinking about someone is it right or it is wrong okay i feel uh, i am also feeling that you were also feeling i mean you were feeling leo that am i thinking too positive about the situation am i trying to be unnecessarily positive about the situation okay maybe there there was also an energy leo where you didn't wanted to accept the reality maybe red flags were being shown to you time and again leo but you were too fearful to know the reality you the fear was too much to know the reality and that's why you were just uh, like you know uh washing that thought out of your mind or flushing that thought out of your mind because you just didn't want it to face that okay so the present energy is that of page of pentacles two of wands and uh, seven of cups leo i see someone wants to make an offer to someone okay and someone is still waiting for that offer to come uh, towards that person uh there is also an energy where leo there is also an energy where you will be confronted with certain choices okay you may be forced to make certain choices there is also an energy where you are trying to take a holistic perspective of this connection where you will try and think very rationally about this connection you will try and think where you stand in this connection with a wish where your person is standing in this connection you will try and you will try and think are both of you aligned in this connection are both of you energetically aligned is your thought process aligned with that person's thought process okay with that page of pentacles i see that leo an offer is being made okay an offer is being made uh either this is an offer with a promise either this is a small offer with a promise that in future a big offer will be made so presently a small offer will be made however that small offer comes with a promise that in the future a big offer will be made or or you will be given certain gifts with an apology for uh, whatever this person did to you in the past and you i see an energy where you are trying to evaluate that offer okay this person has again come with me uh, uh, come towards me with some insufficient offer however this offer also comes along with some promise which may be fulfilled which may not be fulfilled i don't know what will happen in the future because this person had promised me a lot of things in the past okay they had promised me the world in the past but whatever dreams i were i was being shown they were never, never fulfilled and maybe you may also receive an offer from someone else but whatever offer you are going to receive from someone else and not the past person this offer is going to be very good this offer is going to be very good okay 
this offer will be like you wanted the world and this another person is ready to give you the world look at this person in the two of wands this person is holding that globe in their hand you wanted this world right and you are going to get this world but you are going to get it from someone else and that's why a confusion energy of confusion that you are being that you will be confronted with choices you will be forced to make certain choices why forced because you are also feeling that time is running out of your hand there are it is likely leo that you may have two offers an insufficient offer with a future promise okay and then the offer that you always wanted but from a different person okay and that's why so much of thinking regarding this connection that's why trying to take a holistic perspective that's why trying to bring rationality in the situation that's why you're trying to give priority to head over heart okay uh with that seven of cups i definitely see that one offer is good another offer is not good or is insufficient okay and there is an energy where you will find yourself getting confused again because because you are getting what you wanted but confusion is because you are getting it from someone else and not from whom you wanted okay so now you are thinking i'm getting what i wanted but why i am in confusion right now okay so there will be an energy of bit of confusion uh in the future we have is the justice we have chariot and we have moon so finally you are thinking there is an energy where you want to be fair with yourself okay there is an energy where you are thinking that you did not give your own life a fair chance you deserve a fair chance okay and that was not being given to you because you were uh, indulging uh, or you were uh, you were you were involved with wrong people okay that's why your own life couldn't get a fair chance leo uh there is also an energy uh leo i'll not deny with that justice card maybe your past person they want to come come towards you and make things right between you and them okay there is an there is an energy that someone wants to make things right between uh right between you and them there is also another energy where you want to be fair with yourself okay so i'll not deny that uh i'll not deny both the possibilities it may happen that because you are getting offer from someone else your new person will start uh, sorry your past person will start feeling insecure they may have certain realizations that no i want leo i like leo i love leo right so with that justice card i will not deny that someone wants to make things uh fair Th someone wants to make things right between you and them okay so although i will say there is this energy to make things right between you and them there are still a certain secrets which will come to surface in the month of august and after these secrets will come to surface it will be a deciding factor for you leo okay i'm not saying that these secrets are going to be bad or these secrets are going to be good whatever the nature of these secrets may be but these secrets once they come to the surface okay they will be a deciding factor for you whether you want to stay whether you want to move on what is it that you want to do okay there is also an energy where you just want to run away from certain situations leo because i feel that you are so tired of this you are so tired uh, to stay in that waiting energy you are so tired of wanting to have a right person in your life you are like just just f this i don't want anyone i don't want anything just let me uh, ghost myself somewhere and let me have let me go on a uh, good vacation i want to go all alone okay let me do some solo traveling i don't want anyone in my life let me explore the world let me spend some time with myself i just don't want anyone with me right now there is also an energy where you want to stay alone there is also an energy of you don't want to deal with anyone and anything in your life okay there is also an energy where you are feeling tired of dealing with wrong people you are getting this feeling that you are exerting your soul too much by getting involved in wrong situations 
and then finally you will be like no i just want to pack my bags and i want to go on a vacation just enough is enough i'm also getting an energy that someone may want to purchase a car over here in the near future someone is planning to purchase an automobile or uh, you know a mobile asset is what i'm getting okay uh right now let's see okay so uh if this resonates go ahead and check out the extended reading the link is provided in the description box and also in the comments section uh we will see what your person truly really thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion okay and then there is also another link and that link is for your five months prediction okay so i have analyzed your life uh, your love your career your money for the next five months starting from august till the end of december if you are interested in the same the link is provided in the description box and also in the comment section now let's see leo what are your challenges what are your challenges that uh, you you think you can overcome or you want to overcome or your person wants to overcome uh, so that both of you can reconcile okay or what are the challenges in general in this relationship whether you want to reconcile or not we'll see what are the challenges in this relationship with your past person okay and we have is the sun we have is the 10 of wands then we have is 4 of wands we have is the page of wands right there is a lack of happiness in this situation okay you thought that you will be happy in this situation there is a lack of happiness and uh, it's not that you cannot find the happiness you can find the happiness provided there is a lot of work that needs to be done okay and the work that is needed is first of all 10 of wands someone needs to cut away someone from their life maybe a third party situation or maybe there are some wrong influences in your person's life even in your life okay so because this is like challenges that you need to overcome right so it either your person needs to overcome or either you need to overcome so someone needs to cut off someone okay probably a marriage is involved over here with that four of wands a marriage a partnership is involved over here kids are involved over here so marriage that situation needs to go away uh for you, both of you to reconcile so someone needs to divorce someone maybe your person is already not happy with a third party or with a marital spouse okay they are waiting over there only for the sake of kids but what i see is that for some of you there is an energy to exit from that marital cord okay and maybe a communication there is a lack of communication as well a communication where uh, the future plans or the feelings what do you feel for one another was not expressed enough okay or what are the challenges someone is facing right now they are not being expressed enough or even if you're confused even if someone is feeling the confusion that confusion is not getting expressed enough okay you can just go ahead and see like i'm confused right now i don't know okay already i'm stressed out so and so is going in my life i'm confused whatever needs to be your energy is not you know it is not getting channeled in the proper manner okay so there is a lack of communication someone is trying to avoid the communication and that is becoming a draining exercise for someone okay with that sun card i am also feeling that someone needs to find the happiness and love within oneself a lack of self love there is a lack of self love okay so let's pull out some oracle cards and let's see what are your challenges if you want to move on what are your challenges if you want to move on what are your challenges if you want to move on what are your challenges if you want to move on what are your challenges if you want to move on we have is allowing then we have is sanctity then we have is gratitude we have is expansiveness so first of all i'm getting that you are underestimating yourself leo you are underestimated you are underestimating yourself you are a, a fixed sign right leo is a fixed sign and you are too fixated on certain ideas you are too fixated on certain things in your life you are too fixated on certain future dreams of yours i mean having a dream is not a bad a bad thing okay but the dream is about no i want to marry this person only i want to i can find my happiness in this person only you one of the major major and major lesson for you leo this lifetime is to become flexible in your thought process in your working style you have to become flexible okay you don't have to uh, uh you know you don't have to 
what shall i say don't remain so stubborn and adamant on certain things you remain stubborn and adamant to an extent where it is it starts becoming detrimental for your own growth okay so if you want to move on start uh working on things which you think are where you are acting extremely stubborn okay yes you know there was this uh idea in your head in the past that you want to marry someone but now you are thinking you want to uh, you want to move on right so if you want to move on why entertain that idea like i wish i would have got married to that person i wish i would have had family with that person no avoid control that thought process okay so allowing is again go with the flow again don't try to control situations don't try to control you are stopping your own blessings when you are thinking too much what happens is universe holds itself black uh, holds itself back and it stops the blessings that are meant to come your way because universe gets confused universe is like hey leo you were telling me that you want someone in your life who can bring you a lot of happiness right so i am sending but now you are telling me that you want happiness from this person only i was going to send you a person who can give you that happiness but this person is not who you want this is someone else so i need to know what is it that you want so i am holding your blessings right now back so that's how you are confusing universe just go with the flow okay sanctity is that you have certain expectations like you want certain you want a person who will give you happiness who will remain loyal who will be who will be holy soul basically that's that's the sort of expectations you have nothing wrong in that okay nothing wrong in that uh but probably the kind of person you want is is one of a kind and i'm not at all saying you compromise on your expectations in fact i'll say pat your back if you're having such good expectations okay but then also be ready for certain test that will be sent your way because universe is like good i know now what are your expectations if you want this i am going to see uh, have you worked on yourself to have such kind of a person because you have bit high expectations right and uh, like being loyal and all that is i will not say it's a very high expectation okay but maybe there are some other expectations as well which universe considers that these are some good level of expectations and uh, let me also see that are you mentally ready to have such kind of a person okay because it should not happen that i am sending you this person and then you are not actually ready for that right so be ready for certain test also and secondly have gratitude towards whatever you have in your life you have to have certain gratitude leo you cannot be like you cannot keep on cribbing and complaining like i have this but i don't have that i have that but i don't have this and all that stuff okay always uh, once you get up from your bed make sure that you are thankful to the god for whatever you have in your life okay whenever i go to the temple my first prayer is always it's it's like not the first prayer i always thank to the god whenever i go to the temple whatever religious beliefs you have okay i am a hindu i go to the temple whatever religious beliefs you have wherever whether you follow those or not or whatever you believe in my first statement always is whenever i go to the temple is thank you for whatever you have given me thank you for protecting me thank you thank you for blessing me please be thankful to whatever you have okay you have to be thankful for whatever you have and with that expansiveness i told you right that was my first thing only that i told you that you are underestimating yourself you are underestimating yourself because of your fixated nature so these are your hurdles these are your challenges that you will have to overcome if you want to move on okay not that after you overcome all these things then only you will meet your next person but start working in that direction universe will be happy even if you start working in that direction okay so if this resonates go ahead hit like share and subscribe uh, you can also check out the extended reading link is provided in description box and in comment section the five months prediction is provided in uh, the link for the same is also provided in uh, description box and also in the comment section now let's see who is a new person coming your way Leo who is a new person coming your way I'm not going to describe uh, do the physical attributes only behavioral attributes okay 
Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Star. Highly likely that you will marry this person, Leo, the next person. Okay, this person is filled with positivity. This person is so much of optimistic, just like you. This person is just like you. You are also a very positive and optimistic person in your life, right? So this person is also someone similar. This person is a go-getter. This person is very competitive in nature and they get a high once they win something. Something that is very challenging. Okay, this person comes with... Uh, I believe that this person is a highly educated person. They have a master's degree. And they have a very good eye for people. Like they understand people very fast. They have some good psychic abilities also. But the moment they see someone, that moment itself, they understand like, whoa. This They understand the intentions of the person. And similarly, that's how they're going to understand you as well. And that's how their interest in you will get triggered. They will put you on a very high pedestal. They will love you. They will respect you. Highly likely that you will have a family with this person, with the next person. Okay? And trust me, if I would have been a Leo, I would have claimed this person. This person is is someone who is very successful, but at the same time, they, they will make sure that he, they help you also reach your potential. This person is going to be a constant motivation and encouragement for you. Okay, this person is going to be your, your philosopher, your guide, your mentor, your friend, your lover, your partner and everything. Whoa. If I would have been a Leo, I would have claimed this. Alright, I hope this resonates. Please hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Till then, bye-bye.